Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Over the weekend, I had the opportunity to ask Clint Fester why he left Instagram and why he blew those copy trading accounts and it ended up in me getting blocked. Stick to the end of the video because there's quite a few screenshots that we have to go through. Before I get into today's content guys, there's just a few days left of this XM promo where they are giving away a Volkswagen GTI Polo, they're also giving away a Honda motorcycle, they're giving away a Samsung TV, Samsung S22 Ultra cell phone, an iPhone 13, an Apple MacBook and cash prizes to the tune of 79,000 rand. Use the link in my description so that you guys can sign up and trade to win. Please don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Leave your comments in the comment section. Please do share this around so that people can get some clarity on this copy trading thing. And then last but not least, if you're new here, please find that subscribe button for me. As you guys may know, there has been a lot of theories swirling around as to why Clint Fester left Instagram. And I mean, I also even went to Twitter to go and ask him but as i told you guys i ended up getting blocked now i'm gonna show you guys all of that but i'm also gonna show you guys the reason why i got blocked now as you guys may know clint fester recently joined a copy trading campaign there by xness and it really went downhill because he blew these accounts and as we will go through the screenshots you guys will see that um these accounts were blew more than once they were blown more than once so we are gonna take a look at the screenshots now and then i am very keen to hear what you guys have to say after all of this so here is the one copy trading account that he has there by xness for festex perpetuals and as you guys can see for the last three months it has a risk score of 10 out of 10 which means it is extra high the return for the last three months zero and it had 182 investors and as you guys can see at the bottom it promised one percent profit per day minimum <laughs> now when you go into the statistics and you take a look at the return you will see that let me just quickly read what the return means return shows a strategy provided sparse performance the, the daily stats calculate the change in equity from the beginning of the month until the end of the month offsetting any deposits and withdrawals so as you guys can see the red dot that is indicative of a stop out and you see that at the end there but i want you guys to pay careful attention to how many times this account reached the equity line um, moving along you will see there by the equity um, and please pay careful attention to the little dots because as you guys can see there by um, just below the chart there's a red dot for stop out there's a dot for deposit there's a dot for withdrawal and there's a dot for deposit forward slash withdrawal and i want you guys to take a look at how many times you deposited and lost stop it get some help going on to the drawdown you guys will see that for the month of september which is the month that we are in right now it went the maximum 96.7 percent that is like three percent shy of your whole account now when you move along right and um things are gonna go a little bit intense now because i got access to his discord which is public by the way and um anyone can enter so like i said we are gonna go through some screenshots now i want you guys to go through it with me because this is what people are talking about in his discord so as you guys can see the top message i'm not still gonna read that because everything isn't in there so we might be missing some context there but uh i'm gonna start there by odd odd stuff we read can you maybe show a screenshot or something Thing. i tried on my phone okay they're talking about paypal there but there's a question by faiz and faiz asks how does he make money from the course because clearly bitcoin currency and gold he can't trade so where does he get his funds from this is in his own discord no? this is his clients uh below that you will see minor 420 laughing below that faiz says or maybe a losing streak don't know man anyways mine is blown not gonna fund again well my watch from the sidelines and see what happens these screenshots will show you guys exactly the people that lost money and they are in the chat like you can see them but just look at these responses that comes to these messages that these guys send out um they will uh, um see uh 
Prahki, someone uh, commenting there, I think it's the same concept as being an IB. You, you, you make more money when your clients lose their funds. Going on, the boss man says, where's Clint hiding? He's no longer on Instagram. Below that, Crypto Allo says, apparently he deleted Insta. Too many distractions, blah, 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 blah. Check announcements. I know how didn't go check the announcement. I should have gone to check the announcement. That would have been really, really funny. Lee 231 says, how's it, peeps? Who's still in? Um, I am, that's for sure. perpetuo has been trading the last few days. I see no trades in Puppy though. Keep it rubber side down. Hashtag be a supporter, not a fan. Ricochet says, after 100% lost times too on both strategies. Nah, but all the best to you though. So as you guys can see, there's a couple of people that have lost their money. Uh, Lee2301 says, my dad would have told me 600% return was a pyramid scheme, but I guess it's different strokes for different folks. I'm keen to see how it goes to end December 2022 and reassess them. Monk says, puppies closed, won't open again. Ricochet says, but there's $500 loaded. Lead 2301 says, Yep, I thought so as well. Monk says, Oh my. Crypto Allo responds, Yep, $2,500 down. No, big no no for anything in that pool. So, thereafter, someone is asking, How is everyone doing it so quiet in here? Minor420 responds with laughing faces. Craig responds with crying faces. Kaylin Abram14 uh, responds, I think majority is out, so they have nothing to say anymore. Going on, Hanif asks, Is anyone still part of the Festex copy trading? Crypto Allo then responds, How can anyone be? Our accounts are blown. Gone, done, zero. As you guys can see, it is going rough in here cornell says second one blown that is obviously the account that just gone that got blown minor 420 says yes sis. death sniper just sends a screenshot of a kid lying there waiting for the world to come for uh, to come to an end minor 420 says that's why insta was deleted robin lee then says nice clint pretty sure you've lost everyone's faith in you being a good trader one thing i fail to understand is they always preach risk management but there was absolutely no risk management used in both accounts as you guys can see people may think their clients don't see what's going on and they don't notice what's going on but obviously they are paying attention robin lee then says he's shown us what happens when you don't stick to using risk management it's sad because it did inspire a lot of people to take up trading and now he's trading recklessly minor 420 says yeah but if you want his course for free there's a group on telegram that had his for free hot stuff then asks does anyone perhaps know how to cancel recurring payments on paypal here yeah, as you guys can see that is also a topic dixie norma says you deserve every l and every critique when you blow because you didn't use any risk management that just straight amateur hour and people your arrogance when you're doing it with other people's money they come to you not because you're certain to make them a profit but because they have faith in you not to do the most amateur thing possible by not using risk management as you guys can see like i told you guys it's going rough in here Braki then responds minus 5500 usd Braki then responds again by saying went into profits once the other night it came down to minus 1200 dollars and i was happy and i thought we're coming for a recovery after two months one trade later back at minus three thousand eight hundred dollars guys it is really intense and you guys can pause to read but i'm gonna go to the ones where he is starting to respond now and here you guys can see here is his um first response his first response is firstly my twitter is active and my facebook why are you so obsessed with instagram being deleted is beyond me let me just respond to that i think the reason why they're obsessed with instagram being being deleted is because instagram is where you pushed these things the most of the time the reason i deleted i will explain on twitch when i go live in detail but if you want a quick story imagine we have fake scammers opening up accounts daily almost every day new fake accounts of me with my face and my family's face then they lure people into sending them bitcoin and once they get it they disappear or block them who do you think those people come looking for the scammer or me they want their money from me because it's my face. So I deleted Instagram and announcing it on Twitter and Facebook. Guess what? They're now on Twitter too. Only place I'm safe to post is Facebook because they verified 
me there so scammers don't even bother opening facebook accounts so as you guys can see um apparently this is a problem but i don't know why it's a problem now because people have been opening fake accounts of everyone for the longest of time it's not just happening now only he then goes on to say robin it's called copy trading for a reason i enjoyed copy trading until people started complaining and they're complaining for the correct reasons you like blowing their accounts me bro what did you think was gonna happen when i had a five thousand dollar equity account the complaints were please lower your equity we're not making enough with our small accounts lower the equity to five hundred dollars what did people do then they deposited two thousand to four thousand dollars into this what did i find out later there were people pooling in money from telegram groups claiming return percentages and not telling people that they're not trading they saw the percentage gains on the website and promised people 15 percent returns then there was families that got the uncles aunties cousins money and just linked huge accounts like crazy because those that were in got the 800 percent roi and the eyes got bigger for more I do not understand what the complaint is there because it, it, it sounds to me like you are getting angry that they made money, saw they made money and brought more money to make more money. I, 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 don't, I don't get that there. Uh, another response to a message from Clint was, people hate Jesus too. Does not faze me if people hate me because you can't have the world love you. In fact, you risked money. You couldn't afford to lose and now you're angry hopefully you understand trading one day and know that you didn't give up after a few losses you keep going but that's for you to find out one day no he risked the money that he couldn't afford and you lost it he didn't lose it actually i make more money with accounts being active you make zero when people lose so get your facts straight that is facts copy trading's done signals is done now you go and take your own cash and go trade and make a living of trading and then tell me the long road you have ahead of you and all the lessons you're going to learn the last thing i intend on doing is posting free trading setups on my twitter and once ready starting a funding oh starting a funding account program just like ftm oh, i poor starting a funding account program just like fomc you're supposed to say ftmo not fomc fomc is a news report my bro <sighs> hectic so obviously to the question of uh someone asking him how he makes his money he responds by saying i make my money from us 30 and nasdaq if people talk about my risk yet they invest their money with a strategy that says high risk and 800 percent in three weeks does your brain not tell you something like oh shit, this is high risk let me put my whole life savings into the strategy and hope for the best love him if he makes 1000 percent roi and curse him if he loses either way i win mods keep general chat clean of all negativity constructive criticism is different to pure negativity so ban or block them wisely that is a little bit intense so obviously things spilled over to twitter someone commented on twitter on a post of his the best trader in sa now in dubai and then i quoted that tweet by saying go join the discord server and see how many accounts of other people the best trader in sa blue thereafter he then posted something he says in the next hour i can post a 200,000 profit trade here on twitter but then what am i proving your jaw's going to drop because you only see that type of money annually do you see how condescending he talks to people i then quoted that tweet by saying first get your copy trade clients up again then you can brag thereafter he posts now whatever he spoke into existence pause to read his part but then i quoted that tweet and i screenshotted the results of that copy trading account and i was like and then what happened here also puppy philippi i can't access anymore what's up there is this why you ran from instagram and as you guys can can obviously think things just went left from there for him though not for me one of his responses was you have so much to say so many followers why not start a copy trading account and show people how it's done firstly you can't because you don't have 500 dollars to your name i can borrow it to you if you ask nicely secondly you won't last 90 days or come close to making any returns highly condescending 
Uh, someone then responds by saying, Clean the man is weer boos, los die manne. Clint then responds, all I'm saying, he needs a minimum of $500 to start the copy trader, right? He is a trader, not so let me sponsor him $500 to start it up and have the world watch him run it up. Now, I find that highly divisive because the topic here is you blowing accounts, not whether I can trade or not. The topic here is you having taken accountability for the robots that you sold hundreds of people, not whether I can trade or not. And then obviously my response to that was because because I'm not greedy like you. Full stop. He then um, posts a response to one of my comments and he says, you laughing, I'm serious. What positivity have you brought into this world when everything about you is negative? Now, this is where I challenge everyone. If you are watching and you feel like I've made a positive contribution, leave it in the comment section. Let me see it. But I quoted that to it and I said, what positivity? What positivity have your false promises brought people? First, it was your robot. You profited millions or from sales. Meanwhile, the clients made nothing. How's that for positivity? You stopped the lifetime signals but continues the monthly signals positivity one of his other responses was okay i tell you what was obviously man's felt belittled by what i was doing and then he went to go screenshot my um instagram profile right and he posts this he says okay i tell you what how much will you charge for me to have festex across both doors on either side of your race car and can you imagine like me like i despise him more than i despise marco i won't take money from this man at all he then says you overlook all the positive to point out the negative anybody can see that i'm not going to get into a petty debate with someone that only sees one side to any story you are a wannabe keem star That is highly funny. Let me just tell you guys after I've read my quote where Keemstar comes in. So I quote the tweet and I says, Coffeezilla sounds better. Maybe even a Spencer Cornelia. But Keemstar? Keemstar? No man Austin McBroom wanna be. Ah, I mean Clint. I just had to throw Austin McBroom in there because Austin McBroom is Clint's YouTube idol. But why Clint is hating on Keemstar is because Keemstar recently took the Ace Family's YouTube diamond play button because Austin McBroom owes Keemstar money. So this is why he hates Keemstar. And this is why he feels like he can compare me to, to Keemstar. But I don't do tea, I don't do drama, I do facts. Anyway, moving along, my response to him saying about the positive people, I only put out one side. I ask him, where's the positive ones though? I don't see them, bro. Let's be fair. And then he says, your eyes are not tuned in for positive. Show me a positive video you posted ever in your life. There's no hope for you ever. Your life revolves around negativity. Don't the, all of these guys that I exposed, don't they just say the very same thing over and over, guys? Yo. So I then responded to that. Now my eyes are not tuned in. It's clear I'm going to get nowhere with this conversation conversation you'll probably catch the video later on my channel so i'll probably hear from you again so one of my other responses to him um pressing me about this uh, um, copy trader thing he then he uh, one of his responses was so how about it i find you 500 dollars towards starting a copy trader you have 20k followers post to read further and then i respond to that no thank you sir i'd rather be broke and dirty than mess with other people's livelihoods and that's exactly how i feel so now one thing that i cannot understand is how pompous he can get with this right so he then um quotes that tweet where um i said you're gonna see the video later on and he says please make sure you tune into his fourth video about me on his youtube channel he makes the most ad revenue when my name's in his title he needs race car parts and it's almost christmas so support the dude you're so dumb guys you've heard clint support me Canala, support me to one of his responses because i said that um i get paid obviously to advertise these brokers which is facts i get paid to advertise them i don't need to lie about that every time you click on a video you then see it says here somewhere at the top con um yes includes paid promotion so why do i have to lie about things like this you understand what i'm saying so that quote that tweet i quoted and i said rather a dreamer than a cock robot seller rather a dreamer than a lifetime signals group closer rather a dreamer than a copy trading account blower rather a dreamer
so he then responds by saying listen i'm glad i inspired you but if you were half a decent human being that didn't thrive on one-sided stories and actually brought your content across in a way that people get to your two sides your youtube channel would easily be over 100k subscribers already now let me respond to that you guys know for a fact that there is many people that i've exposed that i've invited to come and tell their side of the story do they ever honor that no they don't i even told him nicely kk my bro let's talk several about this but he continued with being condescending and with being rude and i was just not gonna entertain that but seeing he's talking about only talking about one side now that is really hypocritical and rich coming from him because when it comes to the robot and the copy trading thing now when both didn't work out after he pushed it so hard and was promising people big returns with both of these projects when it didn't work out what did he do when the robot uh, um, when people came to the conclusion that the robot was making money for no one he went off instagram for a while for an apparent sabbatical and then now because this uh, copy trading thing isn't working out he's deleting instagram comma like because people is making fake accounts of him like no man we see right through you another uh, um comment of his where uh, um he says how dry are you on content right now shit man life stuff my life stuff my dude check my latest post might be your chance at winning in life so then after that you guys can see he even started a copy trading account just to challenge me and i find that highly disingenuous because he could have used that money to find his own copy trading account and get those clients whose accounts he lost get that a little bit up again but instead he's trying to show the people here that um he got something to prove and he's got nothing to prove to us he's got things to prove though to the people whose account has been blown through that copy trader so anyway he responds yeah exactly what i thought your wannabe trader selling hot forex ib links and hoping rebates pays for your miserable life stop it get some help obviously he then comes with a response by saying why are you dodging the off at hand stop throwing smoke 500 copy trader up for grabs post it further but then i respond by saying why are you dodging the topping at hand throwing 500 dollars into an account doesn't dispel what happened to the robot you sold to hundreds of people that blew their money with it it also won't dispel the puppy flippy and pepito's accounts being fucked up along all the investors that followed it so then he um puts up a um upload a post on twitter by saying that's enough entertainment for me on a saturday morning how do you turn down an opportunity to trade on free money lacks the skill to which i didn't respond it got enough for you because you're trying to avoid accountability for the accounts you blew and the robot you sold to hundreds of people that ended up blowing their money have a great day further um someone on twitter shout out to you kutluano kutluano came along and said no amount of positivity you ever do will ever right the wrong of selling a product that doesn't work the only way to shut right or fix up is to process the refunds and take accountability for your robot and guys if you bought that robot just leave a comment in the comment section please Clint then says, yeah, sure, man, find the hundred dollars, turn up the risk settings, robot blows account, then demand a refund. To which I then respond, don't talk cock, bro. I can bring people now that invested vast thousands into that vast thousands so as you guys can see for him now it's just about avoiding answering the real questions so to my response of asking him now why is he dodging the topic at the end talking about the robot and the accounts being blown he responds by saying blah 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 you like a rat that just comes out for the negative narrative shut the fuck up go promote your ib link and make the next video i need 10k twitter followers hush along i then responded to that don't let the stress get to you bro just admit that you scammed the man so with that robot promised a refund and now you don't want to pay so i just want you guys to go take a look at that old video that i made because there is a voice note of him saying that he will refund the mensa now obviously no to him obviously let me just get 
that is the last one to him um responding because after i said don't talk cock, bro he responded by saying so far it is now a risk-free industry shut the fuck up you can't even trade and that's when i knew i got to him my response to that was no the measurement is most 100 dollars like you stated there what about those with vast thousands just be honest the cover ops are spreading thin now and as you guys can see that earned me a blockage on twitter now if i go further you will see that the puppy flippy account for the past two months it has a high risk settings the return for the last two months was also zero percent when you take a look at the statistics of puppy flippy you will see the account reached stop out here as well when you take a look at the equity i want you guys to take a look at the legend below the chart um look for stop outs look for deposits look for withdrawals and then look for deposits plus withdrawals and then you guys will see that things might went rough on this account and then the drawdown for puppy floppy went to its maximum which is a hundred percent yo guys even i even i am tired now i'm gonna leave this up to you guys i'm very keen to hear what you guys have to say about all of this because as you guys can see whenever i ask a question about the robot he wants to throw money into the conversation because obviously i'm almost now broke and he has to prove to people that i am broke so therefore i can't ask a truthful question or have an opinion um and then also whenever i ask about the accounts being blown man's is just really not caring about it so yeah i want to know what you guys have to say about it and what you guys think about all of this i mean when someone blocks you on twitter you must know you did some good in the world um i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to smash the like button please leave your comments in the comment section please do share this around and then last but not least find that subscribe button for me i will see you in the next video cheers